Welcome to another episode of the Exploring Photographer. In this episode, I am up in the Cairngorms with the Dunfermline Camera Club. A camera club I joined quite a few years ago, actually, and a great bunch of people. This wasn't just a single trip, but a, a weekend away in the Highlands with multiple locations to visit. The trip started as usual by driving over the 4th and the New Queens Ferry Crossing. As I was driving up, there was roadworks at times, and I decided to leave the A road and drive into the hills with a, uh, following a parallel road. I ended up going over a bridge and back onto the road, which I knew pretty well from my motorbike riding. And I was back onto the A road before long. Further up the road, I was luckily getting through the roadworks quickly, but it was only allowing 20 cars through at a time. And as you can see, this queue, these poor people are, are in for a long wait. As I arrived in Avonmoor, it was getting dark and I slid a drive up the mountainside to our accommodation for the weekend. As this was the, was the beginning of winter, road, roads were pretty muddy and slippery at times. The car wasn't enjoying the slippery road, but it didn't take long before I was at the top and met up with the other photographers to start a fantastic weekend. Next morning we got up nice and early and uh, took a drive down to Loch Far and parked in the cemetery car park. Um, we walked up the, the, the footpath over the hill and one of our guys fell on the other side because it's pretty steep but uh, it was okay so don't worry about that um, but if we just walked about 20 meters not even 20 meters further down the footpath to, towards the cemetery there's a much better footpath that goes around the hill and not over so you've got a much better chance of not getting hurt bit further away from the, the mountains than I expected. Oh, there's the boathouse. The water's low. While we waited for the sun to rise, we walked around and looked for a few different compositions. Sometimes nature just doesn't play ball you can plan everything you can use all the satellite photos you want you can look at the weather reports you can do everything you want but if nature decides that it's going to put a cloud in front of the sun you can't do anything about it you just have to wait luckily for us it did move along now you might be asking why am i shooting away from the sun you know, the colors are all on the other side, but the whole idea of coming to this location was for that boathouse. Did a bit of research on Google Maps and came up with this location as one of the locations for the weekend I want to visit. Can't help it, the sun's on the opposite side. We just have to see what the compositions we can get with the um, sun heating the, the building. So as the sun was coming up, we moved around to a few different locations. Yes, perfect. That's a good shout coming here. Oh, I'm glad you like it. Yeah. It's just unfortunate, the water's not higher. Well... We can't good. have everything.
overall, I'm quite happy with the results I got. I wish the, the water was a bit higher, but yeah, that's just wishful thinking. Well, that was a great start to the day and a great start to the weekend. In the next video, we'll get on to the next location. If you can join the photography club in your area, go for it. You've got nothing to lose. you actually got a lot more to gain. I've joined this club a few years ago, and it's a fantastic bunch of people. And we had so much fun over this weekend, as you'll see in the next videos. So, that was sunrise at Lochfar.